What's up everyone, this is Saints 91 back once again for some more Let's Play Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. In the last part, we managed to find the elusive orc, and he is said to be the only one who has ever defeated the evil Dr. Nefarious. But are but are they serious about that or are they just pulling shit out of their ass? Okay, no 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 new armor. It's probably gonna take a while for her to become any new stuff we can buy for right now, but let's go to Annihilation Nation. To win the terror guys. To win the terror guys. Are you ready to play? All right, let's meet our first contestant. He's an unemployed rocket mechanic who claims to have saved two galaxies, but most people know him as Secret Agent Clang's bumbling chauffeur. He hopes that disguising himself as a tyranoid will make him more attractive to the ladies. Hey, give a warm welcome to Ratchet will attempt to be the first contestant ever to survive the Death Horse. Contestant number one, are you ready? Bring it on. Hey, be sure to catch me next week at the Florana Demolition Derby. Yeah, what he said. He's got that okay, let's stare. get things moving. Get for the fire, don't worry. Feet burned off. Whoa! Alright, we should take care of him. Serve as much ammo as we can. This way. I don't know how to have two doors. Walk past these guys. That. Oh, we got more. Oh, there's a lot. I'm gonna get my boost over to the left. That nonsense. These little buggers are everywhere. You've got the suck in and they definitely take care of them in no time flat. At least they're gracious enough in order to give me lots and lots of supplies. That's this way. Again, what's the point of the multiple doors if only one of them is going to open the whole pet? How exactly is this hard if I can jump right on top of them? Honestly. Now it's time to get down this and dirty easy. for a lowdown showdown. Another big comic for me. He could be championship material, folks. Of course, here comes the main event. Yes, I am. Good place to train up your weapons right when you get them is the battle arena. Because they do give out a decent experience. At least for new weapons. Oh, well, not too much. Level 2! The launcher. And the waste on the small fry. Save for the big boys. Nice! Oh yeah, that's entertainment, folks! Come on, 
a taste of my wrench. God, these guys are endless. Like the last arena we've been to, there's gonna be a lot of challenges and bosses we can fight. It's kind of a tradition after this. How about that, folks? Oh, I don't believe it, folks! A even more night attack. Ours. Keep getting it so and fast, I don't even remember what I started with. Eat. How about that, folks? He is better looking. Ah. Do not be alarmed, Sasha. That is Ratchet. Oh, I see you won the terror guys. It's very convincing. Anyway, there's something I think the two of you need to see. Work personal log entry 101301. After I personally vanquished the protopet menace and revamped the Megacorp testing facility, I decided to focus my efforts on protecting the endangered creatures of the Florana jungle. But when news arrived that Dr. Nefarious had again risen to power, I knew where my true destiny lay. The training necessary to get back into tip-top shape has been exhausting, and my mind overflows with brilliant concepts. Do I still yearn for the bittersweet stench of my simian companions? <sighs> the time has come to resume my duties as the greatest hero the galaxy has ever known! Captain Quark! You're not gonna believe this. But the president put Quark in charge of the fight against Nefarious. Our new commander just called his first team meeting. You better get back to the Phoenix right away. I agree. This does not sound good. Because it isn't good. When is it ever good to be... to have Quark in charge? It never is. Ooh, the Agents of Doom! Ah, but they're way too expensive. Now it's time to oh, but I can wait. Down and dirty. Yes, we'll pick up the inspector. Terrible to party players. Yeah, that is not big. I'm gonna stick with the shock blaster first. And then when they're near death, I'll kill them with the nitro launcher so that the nitro launcher gets the experience. Even at level 3, it's still kicking lots of ass. Oh, I'm a rip user. I keep this guy right in the dick. You know, I'm this early in the game, and this fight is a fucking. I think the whip user is definitely a little harder. We actually have to 
move somewhat more to dodge her. Shit, I was gonna switch over, but I forgot. Oh, there's still this guy. Not too much there. This event is a that was time limit challenge. <laughs> got it close. Yeah, this should be easy enough. Rock X got to restock. Switch. Seems like my storm is part of that thing. Just feeling out straight damage. Come on, bring the bitch in. I have to make her look like a stereotypical Viking. Switch! Where's my power up? Not here yet, apparently. I gotta say, the firing rate on the launcher is kind of shit. Now it should be a bit better. Hells, yes. Okay, crispy critters. We'll quickly get through all the challenges and then we'll move on. This looks familiar. I think we've already been through this kind of shit before. For the right. Right there. You con them all. I don't really need to worry about the small fries right now. Burn off the fingers. Over there. Ooh, they ricochet. Really nice. I don't need to fight all of them, though. There's gotta be something right like We're off to the left. It's gonna be alternating. Probably just like the last time, so I'm not too worried. And to the right, what a shock. That was a cheap shot. Get your dual lightsabers out of here. Done. Okay, we're gonna do a robot rampage and never gonna hold I can't keep going after these, because they're gonna start to repeat. Vector. The larva ball. They start fighting for me. I don't know how this one gets upgraded. Is it whenever someone infected destroys another person, or this one runs out? The way it's moving it on. I'll have to look into upgrading that one. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, 
shotgun is going to be the first thing I get up to level 5 because we're almost already at level 4. Jesus. Great. Fuck up. I'm gonna get the death star. How oh, glorious. Too bad that Inferno power just come with a built in you know, more uh, like a multiplier for your football uh, price. Bother decking that because it's rather pointless. Should be the last round. I don't want to lock on to the Death Star. That's clear what they're trying to do. Dick. Alright, let's get out of here. I got a lot of bullets. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, and Helga, welcome to the Q-Force. You have been assembled here because each of you is an expert in your particular field. From Al's mastery of electronics to Skid's nerves of steel to Helga's sensual powers of seduction. Each of you has shown that you are worthy to wear the Q. Years ago, I single-handedly defeated Dr. Nefarious, but like a rash on the galaxy's backside, he has flared up again. Our first mission will be to infiltrate the Doctor's top-secret base on planet Aquatos. Impossible, you say? Perhaps for a lesser strategist? Behold, my brilliant plan! First, Ratchet and Clank will descend to the sea floor and wade through a series of tunnels flooded with waist-high raw sewage. What? Please hold your questions until the end of the presentation. After infiltrating the base, our agents will split up. Clank will enter the base's ventilation system where he will locate and deploy this banana-guided autonomous monkey device. Or the GAMD. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ratchet will use his extensive knowledge of the Tyranoid language and customs to win the trust of the bloodthirsty alien guards. Finally, our agents will make their way to Nefarious's personal office, steal everything that isn't nailed down, and exfiltrate the base completely undetected. That's crazy! But it just might work. And of course, no one has to do anything else. Lazy bastards! But since we got ourselves a new vid comic, let's go play with that first. Have a relaxation before we get thrown into the belly of the beast. Yeah, it takes a long time to get from there to our to our room. Who the hell put that poster up? Issue 2, Arriba Amoeba. Quark, comic episode 2, Arriba Amoeba. A new evil was gathering in the shadowy swamps of Blackwater City. A horrific breed of monsters known as Amoeboids, born in the laboratories of a twisted scientist named Dr. Nefarious. To think 
They called me insane, Lawrence. We'll see who's insane when my pets have exterminated all life on this miserable planet! Well, that should clear things right up, sir. When Captain Quark encountered the Amoeboids for the first time, he immediately executed emergency response plan number two. Hey, wait just a minute. Quark then proceeded to stall for time while he coordinated the city's defenses from the women's restroom at Galaxy Burger. Give me that thing, you lying, no good. Oof. Right, now where were we? From the moment I touched down, I knew the situation called for a head-on assault. Without hesitation, I rushed to do heroic battle with the monstrous amoeboid horde. So were the crayon drawings actually drawn by kids of the developers? Because that would be hilarious. And also, I love that whenever it changes over to Quark, it changes over to the, the crayon drawings. But for everyone else, it looks detailed and looks good. Screw so much of a moron Quark really is. And yes, even he can wall jump. Be careful of the guys with the torches. And we should all remember the Amoeboids since we fought them in the first game. Now they give us a flame blaster. It's kind of pointless in close quarters combat, though. You can just punch them, then you might as well punch them. Am I crazy enough to go after all the cues? Possibly. Crazy like a quark. Also helps to dump them right into the tree. Makes things so much easier. Get out of here. Yeah, this one's not too much harder than the first one, but then again, we really don't really have that much of a problem. There's not not too much of a problem with the escalation. Watch out for those, because they drop down. These have a really bad time explaining shit, apparently. Oh, didn't know I could do that. That's helpful. That is not. You! Hopefully these ones don't drop when they land on them. Something over there. Is there anything over there? No, it's just a wall. You, need to, you can tell which one's going to break because it has the fans behind it. It should break. Okay. Oh, that's bullshit. Game, fry them! Yes! That makes things so much harder. I can actually break through that. Big bonus cue. Does that mean I could have busted through that wall earlier? That oh, means I missed. Titanium bolt. Then again, I'm not going for 100%, so why should I get flying shits? Not actually torches, they're just slime guns. And I am out of juice. Is there 
there anything down there or is it just death? Bark. What's wrong with you? Game, look down. Whoa, shit. Well, that's death. Note to self don't go down. Down equals death. I don't know why I couldn't duck her. Right, I'm able to do the splits. No point in wasting my time with the small fries. I think I definitely missed something. This is the end. And even five minutes, though. Not too bad. His amoeboid army defeated. And Dr. Each episode no choice but to gives you a bigger multiplier of bolts, too. You've not seen the last of me. I will have my vengeance if it takes a thousand years. <laughs> Dr. Nefarious was right about one thing. He and Quark would meet again, and sooner than he realized. For a true hero like Captain Quark will stop at nothing in the name of justice. <laughs> what? I held my breath. You suck, Quark. Make me go through all this crap just because you say you're in charge, you dick! Up checking the vendors here when there's gonna be vendors on the next planet in play. Incoming call. Oh no. Off to Quados. Hey, you're killing me! Excuse me? I'm trying to make a picture here, and Mr. Big Shot Star is nowhere to be found. I am currently occupied with a mission of galactic security. Right, right. I get it. You want a bigger trailer? Done. You want a daily oil massage? Done! I need my star on the set pronto, capiche? Uh, you're... Uh, breaking up. You know, I can see you, weasel boy. Oh yeah? How about now? He'll figure something out. We've got work to do. 